Hi there and thank you for joining me for this short course on financial controls brought to you by Constructum Online Learning. For you to successfully run your business, you must maintain financial controls. Control over liquidity, profitability and solvency. Liquidity, that's cash flow, how money flows into and out of your business. Profitability, how well you use your business's resources to generate profits. And solvency, assets versus liabilities. How well you use profits to grow the value of your business. You have an idea for a product or service. How do you go from idea to operational business? You need to develop skills in five key areas. Your first job as entrepreneur is to develop your idea into a viable product something you can put a price tag onto, a solution to a need. If you haven't already, you may want to watch my series entitled Product Development that you can find on YouTube. Visit Constructum Online Learning. Having developed your idea into a viable product, you must then devise a strategy aimed at getting customers to buy the product. You need a coherent marketing strategy where you profile your ideal customer, identify a relevant market of customers that you can access and serve in a financially viable way, adopt strategies with which to effectively compete and decide on the most appropriate means of distributing your product to customers. To learn more about how you can decide on the right marketing mix for your business and how to evaluate the economics of your marketing strategy, you may want to watch my series entitled A Winning Marketing Strategy, which you can find on YouTube. Visit Constructum Online Learning. But you must design and build a machine with which to fulfill the promises you make to customers in your marketing messages. Build a business consisting of people, processes and policies. To effectively manage your business, you need financial controls. You need to know how effectively you are deploying capital into resources and how well you are managing your cash flow in pursuit of generating maximum profits. You need accounting systems. But from where will you get the capital to invest in your business? And once you have secured capital, how will you generate and eventually realize shareholder value? You need to understand business finance. You may want to watch my series on business finance, which you can find on YouTube. Visit Constructum Online Learning. Have you noticed that when you drive a vehicle, you have an instrument panel or dashboard behind the steering wheel providing you with information? Are you a good driver? Do you have to understand the mechanics of the internal combustion engine to be proficient at operating a vehicle? No, you don't. You don't need to understand what is happening in the engine bay to be a competent driver. In the same way, you don't need to be an accountant to drive this machine, your business, in a competent way. But you do need to understand how to interpret the information that you see on the instrument panel. Your business's instrument panel is your financial statements, consisting in the main of a profit and loss statement, a cash flow statement and a statement of financial position.
As a competent business manager, you must understand what the information reflected in your financial statements say about the health of your business and you must understand what actions you need to take to improve the financial results of your business. In this course, I will introduce you to the three most commonly used financial statements. The cash flow statement, the profit and loss statement and the statement of financial position. Then we will consider the information contained in the financial statements and how you can interpret those results. We will consider three categories of financial results, namely liquidity, profitability and solvency.